Hi everyone, we are going to learn chapter 7, Gravitation. Do you know, gravitation is very close to our life. That's what we are going to explore in this chapter. What do you know about gravitation, Irene? I think something falling down to the ground. Well done, Irene. What about you, Monica? Mm, how about planet orbiting the stars? Good job, Monica. Let's look at how gravitation actually works. As you can see, what do you think causing the apple falling down from the tree? This happened due to the gravitational force pointed to the center of the Earth. Furthermore, planet's orbit is also under the influence of gravitational force. This is because of the gravitational force by the Sun. What is Newton's law of gravitation, guys? Newton's law of gravitation states that a magnitude of an attractive force between two masses is directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Or, mathematically, F equal to G M M over R squared. It is a vector quantity and the unit is kilogram meter per second per second. For the example, we have two masses mass, M1 and M2. The distance between the masses is R, and the attractive force between the two masses is F21 and F12. Gravitational field strength is defined as the gravitational force per unit mass of a body. Mathematically, we can write down AG equal to GM over R squared. The direction of the gravitational field strength is the same as the gravitational force. A vector quantity, the unit is Newton per kilogram or meter per second square, also known as gravity. Gravitational potential energy is defined as the work done by a gravitational force in bringing a test mass from infinity to a point, or U equal to minus GMM over R. Let's do it some exercise. Thank you for watching. I'm Madam Zai Hasma. See you next time.